Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody. We might not be able to go out, but we can still visit Finland through the medium food. Thanks to Paputin, one of my patrons. Today we are going to be trying Lin Sisipsi Ranch, which look fantastic. Reese Sipsy Makaya Chili. I'll leave you to guess what flavour those are. Broadway Sour Cream and Onion. And the one that we've all been waiting for desperately. Nacho Cheese Balls with Real Cheese. Mmm. They're going to be really good. I can't wait to smell these. The shape of them reminds me a bit of frazzles and a bit of those sun bites things. So maybe there'll be a bit of a mix, I don't know. Actually, they don't smell of that much. I thought they might smell of loads, but they don't. I'm right on the sort of sun bite slash frazzle thing though. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Ooh, that's not what I was expecting at all. That's intriguing. Because predominantly they are ranch flavour, but then you get this kick of savoury vegetables. How, how intriguing. Mm. And you can also taste the 40% whatever it is. It's some sort of grain, I don't bloody know. It's in Finnish. Mm. They are very unusual. There's like three different flavours at once going on there. Salty, salty vegetables, ranch dressing, and grain. I like them though. They're very, very crunchy. Mm. They're crunchy, but they're... They're more grainy, that's the word. They're more grainy than a frazzle, for example. They've got more texture about them and more sort of... Um, um, God, how do I describe this? No, I don't want to say gritty because that makes it sound horrible, but that's quite kind of what I mean. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I like those a lot. That's the sort of flavour that if we introduced it in Britain, nobody would buy them. Because they're not sweet. In keeping with everything else, finished. <laughs> what have I said about their sweets? Not sweet. These are the same. And I'd love to tell you kind of where sugar appears on the ingredients list, but unfortunately, I do recognise one or two of these things. Although I don't, I don't know what druff soccer is. Tomat pulver. I think I get that. Oh, maltodextrin. There it is. I'm about halfway down. Well, there we go. Mmm. I think it's the paprika that I like. I love paprika crisps. Oh, it's so good. And there's loads of it in here, so that's good. Yep, yeah, that's a thumbs up. I like those. I wonder if they have other flavours. Mm. We move on to Reese Sipsy Macchia Chili. Now, apparently there is a specific way of eating these that I've forgotten and won't be doing today. There's something specific that you put on top of them. I can't remember what it is. I think that these are more crisp breads than crisps. So I'll probably be trying them in a way that I shouldn't really be eating them. Although, I don't know. I don't know. They're like little bowls. Oh, how weird. Look, look, crisp bowls. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. So you could put stuff inside them. So on here, I mean, they look massive on here. They look like huge crisp breads. They've got all sorts of stuff in the earth. How are you gonna fit all of that into one of those? What's that about? I can try. But wow. <laughs> oh. Those are a lot stronger. And somehow even crunchier, but not as grainy. I will never be a food reviewer. I need more words. Oh, I like that. There's just a nice bit of chilli down the sides of your tongue. I could imagine having, like if you put sour cream or something in that, or some sort of sandwich filler. Mm. Yes, I like them. 
and I can tell you because it's in English on the back, the story of rye crisps. Settle down everybody and I will tell to you the story of rye crisps. Thin and crunchy rye crisps were developed by Linku Soho's expert bakers in 2009. Oh, there's me thinking that they dated back years. Since 1974, the middle of dried Varus Laper rye bread has been used to make crispy Vinen Mosen Paltunapit rice snacks and later thin Lemon Kaisen couple of rye balls. Rye crisps were invented when these thin balls were split, dried and seasoned. Aha! They're not little balls, they're half a ball. Rye crisps have gained popularity in Finland and all over the world for more than 10 years. Rye crisps are perfect for casual and more festive occasions. For serving suggestions, visit the website. Ooh, ooh, serving suggestions. <laughs> oh, ah. mm. Not a great thing to eat on a stream. But, I mean, serving suggestions. I probably can't go out and get the bloody things to put in it at the moment, but maybe if I put them in an airtight box, we could come back to those. Mmm, they taste lovely. Moving on to Broadway. I love sour cream and onion. Absolutely love it. My worry is this bag might look slightly flat. Um, I accidentally put something down on top of it. So we just need to hope that I haven't completely destroyed them. But I like them. But <laughs> I can't get the bag open. There we go. Now these. These look a bit ruffly to me. Are you ruffly? Oh God. There's been a bit of a disaster. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <sighs> so sorry. Uh, there, there, there might be a problem finding a whole one here. <laughs> oh well, tastes so. They're so crunchy. So crunchy and noticeably not as sweet as we would have in Britain. Mm. I've still got a bit of sort of tomato with chilli flavour from the last things. They remind me very much of the sort of Walker's Max. In fact, no, I was right the first time. They're like ruffles, but probably a bit less strong. Do ruff ruffles have like MSG in them or something? Mm. The texture of all of these is just spot on. Mm. There you go, soggy as you're eating them. They're nice, it's just... <laughs> it's got those are bits, so actual crisps. I don't quite know how that happened, but there we go. There we go, there's half of one. They're not very strong. Not as strong as Pringles would be. It's quite subtle, but it's there. The onion sort of kicks in at the end. I really like sour cream anything, so this is working for me. But I imagine that for some people, these probably wouldn't be strong enough. But we're so used to very, very strong flavours. Mm, that texture though, so good. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to have to put those away because otherwise I'm going to eat the whole bag. Last but not least, it's the one you've all been waiting for. <laughs> it's nacho cheese. Yeah. I have to make that joke every single time. These are made by Taffel, the original snacks. I looked these up and nobody else has them. Lots of people have cheese balls, but not nacho cheese balls. They're, they're a Finnish thing. And when you put it into Google, this is what it comes up first. Other search engines may be available. In fact, it wasn't Google, it was DuckDuckGo. For those privacy oriented among you. Balls. Oh, cheese balls. Now, I wonder what makes these different from normal cheesy balls if they're nacho cheese balls. Let's find out. They look a bit smaller than I was perhaps expecting. Mm. Oh God, they are amazing. Mm. <laughs> oh. How do we not have these in Britain? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. 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 
Tot met je jas. Ja. Oh god, dat is zo'n kus. Mm. Wow. I would say actually, taste wise, they're not that much different from normal cheesy balls, but texture melt in your mouth, accompanied by that slight crunch. Oh god, it's so good. They're so light. Mm. Mm. It's the texture that gets you first, actually. Super soft and melty and yet sort of crispy at the same time. And then the flavour kicks in. Um, you can tell that they've got real cheese in them. But, so they taste a bit more, um, no, a bit less artificial, actually, than normal cheese balls. I wonder whether they've just got that natural ingredients, I can tell you. Nacho cheese flavour. Corn flour, vegetable oils, just says cheese powder. From milk, incredibly. Cream powder, salt. No, oh, it has got MSG in it, I think. Tomato, ah, maybe that's what's doing it. A bit of sugar, a bit more sugar. Third kind of sugar. A bit of garlic, onion, cayenne pepper, paprika. Maybe it's all of that stuff that's different. Maybe normal cheese balls don't have anything more than cheese in them. I don't know, but oh god, they're amazing. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. I think you're going to have to leave me with my balls. Well, all of those were a success. These are intriguing. Really intriguing. Um, I'm going to have to find something to put in those. I'm going to put them in an airtight container and seal them up and see what I've got in the emergency provisions fridge. I haven't got any cream cheese or sour cream or anything like that. Doesn't mean that I won't try and find something. I think I might have a little bit of salsa. I don't know. I'll have a think about it. I've got to go out for something anyway, so I might risk the supermarket and just see what I can grab without getting near anybody. But um, thank you very much for producing. They're great. I'm going to have one more of these. Tomato-y, chilli, domey thingy. You've got to have teeth for those. They're really good. Mmm, nom. I'll see you all later.